So I'm a member of the Internet Society Board of Trustees and uh, have been involved in uh, obviously uh, helping to lead and guide uh, the development of the Internet Society and set the direction for where we're going in the future. Uh, and professionally, I helped uh, start the uh, one of the biggest uh, ISPs now in North America um, and uh, helped develop their cable modem service for broadband in the United States. In terms of breakthrough moments, I think uh, the emergence of broadband. So when I first got involved in the internet, it was mostly dial-up if you were an end user. Um, if you were a big business, you might have had a one and a half megabit per second line called a T1 line. And uh, I was very involved in the breakthrough and the creation and the deployment uh, across the United States of a cable modem-based broadband service. and. Uh, to take a service that, you know, as a large company, you know, getting one and a half megabits per second and spending thousands of dollars per month and making that something that uh, an average person could afford at twenty, thirty, forty dollars a month um, was transformative, and uh, that really helped, you know, launch the internet as a consumer service in the United States. Oh, I think it's sunny. Um, I think that there are certainly concerns about some aspects of the Internet, whether that's security uh, or surveillance or other types of things. But generally speaking, the Internet, I think, is a, a phenomenal, constantly growing and evolving organic kind of thing. And uh, it's hard to tell, you know, what will come next and what will be the next cool thing. But uh, it's done a fantastic job of connecting people around the world and building communities. Um, and uh, I, I see... Uh, you know, a great future for that, but I, I still think it's, you know, quite good now as well. Uh, the biggest fears are that the Internet will fracture in some way or become balkanized, so to speak, where it breaks up into sort of regional networks and there's no one global network anymore. Um, so that's certainly one fear. Um, and, uh, you know, perhaps a related fear is that, you know, security of the Internet or the stability of it becomes a problem and that hinders its future growth or its continued growth. Um, but, uh, you know, from a, a positive span standpoint, you know, I think that there is just a huge opportunity to enable people to uh, have access to educational services that they never did before, um, to have access to the world and to information and to communicate with other people in a really rich way. Um, I think we have very few people, relatively speaking, that are connected to the Internet today. So if you can imagine another four or five or six billion people connected to the Internet, what kind of ideas and new things do they bring? Um, you know, it's hard to say, but I think it'll be exciting to see what happens. Well, I think uh, continuing to keep it open, so using open standards, um, that helps uh, Anybody connect to the internet, it helps drive the cost down of connecting to the internet and so on, um, and of developing businesses around it. So I think open standards are important. That has to continue. Um, and the, the current model of internet governance, which is an open one with you know, multi-stakeholder, consensus-based, not voting based on countries, um, those things are important, um, very important, especially right now.